Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. The just brothers and sisters shall live by faith. Are we together now? And you see, the system of faith is such that except there is a word, there cannot be faith. Even if you encounter a person, it only produces conviction. There cannot be faith because faith is an action word. An action only happens when a word has come, either to instruct you or give you something to do. John, I mean, Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 says, Man shall not live by bread alone. This is Jesus speaking, responding to Satan. But by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of the God you have encountered. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every rima, the revealed word that proceeds in this kingdom we live by the word of god we live by the speakings of god not just scripture not just verses not just chapters we don't live by verses we don't live by chapters we live by the speakings of the word the chapters and the verses are only containers they are not the word they carry the word the breath of the spirit opening those chapters and verses you see listen the message behind a chapter is the word of God, not the story. The message, you may have been reading scripture, but the message in the scripture is where the word of God is. Because that's where your instructions are hinged upon. Are we together now? The journey of faith. Many people never become great in this life because their cultural experiences are greater than the revelation of who God is. Did you know that every time Satan wants to destroy you, wants to limit your mind, he uses the information that is already in your mind. He doesn't bring an information outside. There is a reality in your mind. So he calls you and he says, I hope you are aware that you are from this state. And you say, I remember the information I've gathered about that state is that people don't prosper. And Satan says, that's exactly what I'm saying. And it is that raw material he begins to push you. Are you aware that you read Hausa or you read French? And are you aware that in Nigeria, if you study some of these things, you may not have an opportunity for a good job? You say, yes, I'm aware. Satan uses the content of your environmental conditioning as the platform. To limit you from believing God. Listen, brothers and sisters, please hear me. Especially if you are in ministry or going, or going into ministry. Spend as much time as you can having encounters with God. You will drink from that fountain for life. If that fountain dare dries before you get to the promised land, you may not arrive. There are things today that will never shake me because there is a solid encounter about who god is listen if you don't know who god is you will never stand well because all kinds of things will come to derail you you know how many pieces of papers people have passed to my life in the name of prophecy you know how many kinds of things you know how many dreams and visions people send to my phone apostle i saw something god is going to destroy you next week you don't know god you will die like a chicken because of the conviction of a man someone just gets up and looks at you and says god is going to destroy your family we found out that your grandfather was a wizard and, they, and you now go back and believe is because you don't know who God is when you really know who God is you will learn in your knowledge of God that the Lord is gracious and compassionate he is slow to anger and rich in love the knowledge of God is what strengthens your conviction about operating in the kingdom David knew God what a man David knew God God gave him an option. Should I give you over to your enemies or to you? David said, no, 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 no. God, at least me and you, these men, they are wicked. But you are compassionate. 
what has your not knowing God cost you in life impatience not knowing God and not knowing how he operates has destroyed a lot of people they call light darkness and they call darkness light he that cometh unto God must believe the first thing the Lord began to do in my life brothers and sisters is not to give me anointing it's not to give money it is always the journey of faith by faith by faith by faith Lord how will this destiny be built by faith Lord I'm an orphan my father is dead my mother is dead and God says you must learn how we operate in this kingdom it is by faith what does that mean by my word if I speak to you notice that my power follows my word so if I speak to you you must learn to trace the direction of my power by looking for where my word is anywhere my word is not stop looking for my power there if you find power there is divination my power follows my word if I say I will lift you then you stay at that area of the world that's where the anointing will meet you the anointing follows what God said the anointing has no business doing anything God has not said you can know where the anointing is by finding out what has God said if God said I will exalt you don't look for the anointing for any other thing the anointing for exaltation will remain until that word comes to pass then returns back to God as a messenger job done then he will say something again then the anointing will start looking for it the anointing does not just move at random the anointing backs up the word so the issue is not where is the anointing the issue is what has God said are you getting what I'm saying many believers let me tell you why we don't get miracles we roam around around areas and zones where God has not said anything and we keep crying for anointing to come and the Holy Ghost tells you this kingdom is a faith kingdom you don't just cry for anointing to come you cry for his word send your word oh God and the anointing follows that word you want to build a ministry what did God say nothing so you just carve out a ministry Lord you must anoint this ministry the anointing said no way I don't work that way I walk I respect the word spoken notice Satan does not fight anointing he fights the word because he knows that the word has the word like like when President Buhari comes to Zaria you don't need to bring El Rufai El Rufai will necessarily be part of that entourage that's how it works many believers don't pay attention to find out what God is saying we pay attention reading the Bible we pay attention reading devotionals which is good but to be able to understand what God is saying look, notice that the secrets of the success of people they didn't walk by faith just by reading the Bible at random they walk by faith by staying to hear we are going to fight oh God what is your what what is your word and God says I will give you victory they say guys let's rejoice victory would be guaranteed If you don't live by faith you will end where your parents ended it takes faith to transit you let me tell you waiting for somebody to give you a guarantee of job after school is foolishness it will never happen everybody you see that has risen to any point of greatness in the kingdom did so by faith the reason why many of us don't get results is that our faith is not in God our faith is in men auxiliary support systems my uncle is a senator in Ibadan my uncle is a senator in Uyo I my uncle is coming out for presidency next year and so when you say those things I'm pride in them and say no I can't fail and the Bible says woe to any man who puts his strength in a man the greatest of any man can fail you so God begins to teach you son I want you to be great that's the promised land but this journey is going to be by faith and he said Lord at the point of this journey i just have one gideon's international one bible no revelation no wisdom god says don't worry all i need you to do follow where my word is and you will get there follow my word follow my word follow my word 
so when you open the bible all you do is to just read oh i will bless you mm. when you read it read it like the will of a man to you many people read the bible like god speaking to the disciples i have a personalized bible it was a gift that was sent to me years ago everywhere they wrote the name of anybody for good they changed it to joshua selman the whole bible i don't use it now but it's a powerful revelation so thus saith the lord too you see it written there joshua selman fear not i have redeemed you and he's speaking to me now i have called you by name fear not fear not that means the anointing for courage is somewhere because god has spoken to me are you seeing now you can know what anointing is there don't you see how the anointing moves in koinonia when the word comes the grace for it is what comes god healed blind Bartimaeus. he did not become a rich man his cry his demand was to be healed god spoke to him in the area of healing the anointing that came was for healing blind Bartimaeus never prospered just because god spoke healing it is the word that comes to you that controls the anointing that follows you god called benihin into the healing ministry there are many auxiliary graces but the strongest grace that operates is the grace that came with that word for as long as that word remains on him that grace remains on him are we together yes pastor if I come to your house and you ask your wife to go and bring minerals for me you gave a word the performance will be in the area of where minerals your wife will not go and carry your shoe you can still give me your shoe but you chose to give me minerals because that's what you saw that will minister to me more and you say wife go and bring mineral she will go to the kitchen or wherever they keep the minerals and carry it and bring it the performance was in the direction of the word you see please sit down sir you see that we neglect the word of god yet we want performance many believers including those who study the bible don't take the word of god seriously let me tell you if god has spoken to you and you know he spoke to you die there this is faith these careless things people do around one leg here two weeks later you will never rise like that but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded god you told me i may be the last born in my family but you have assured me that in my father's lifetime they will glorify god i believe you i take you i believe that word your reception of the word the anointing begins to come because you have believed the bible says who has believed our report it is to that person the arm of the lord the arm of the lord is his right hand of power it is who believe the report that sees the right hand not who wants to see the right hand brothers and sisters in this kingdom there is no advantage to your life until the word of god comes to you hear it the word of god is your advantage in life whether the word revealed through illumination from scripture or spoken to your spirit by the holy ghost put together a miracle service at the end of every month lord this is your word yes sir and that journey of faith god guarantees that every time the anointing to make sure that word comes from him see when you train yourself don't you know that it's risky sometimes you hear me talking about people oh there's somebody here the anointing you think i'm just guessing you try it and see whether it happens there is you train yourself you don't say lord let the anointing go there you already know that once the word of god comes the requisite grace will follow it come on now come on now so god comes to a family brothers and sisters where nobody becomes anything and god now speaks a word to that family he sends that word to jacob and intends that that word lights upon israel and god comes to you and say mary you are a young woman a young virgin but i want to speak to you you will carry that holy thing and mary said really be it unto me 
and the anointing that will force her womb seed or no seed to take the seed of the word of god the incorruptible seed that abides forever and jesus came so the next time you see people doing extraordinary exploits don't say they are lucky they believed they believed lord will you really do this i believe you lord look at me the last person who would have helped me in life just died and god said a human being died but my word is still alive keep going and he said lord school fees is tomorrow i'm in 200 level you spoke to me that i will become a professor i'm already on my way out and god says no keep your gaze on the word if the word is there be sure the anointing is there god's instrument god's performance factor the anointing every time i travel for ministration i don't know the cases i'm going to see i don't know who is going to come when i come for koinonia when we come for miracle service i don't say go around and find out the cases and write let me be sure you know that god sent a word and you know that the anointing is following it let me tell you if god speaks a word to your finances then keep going the journey in this life is by faith you can be weak sitting down right now and god says you are going to be the overseer of an international ministry you will communicate the purposes of god you say lord but i'm a woman i am weak and god says don't insult me i have sent my word i've sent my word i've sent my word and all of a sudden now do you know it's possible for that person to die without it coming to pass and so just because you didn't engage it you will now say you see god said it the word of god does not work automatically the same way no seed grows automatically there must be a reaction between the seed and the earth the seed has potentials to produce but you keep keep beans or maize take away moisture keep it on in your kitchen after five years you will still see it there but take the same seed do something to it add it to the earth and all of a sudden a tree will come out brothers and sisters when the lord called me there was no human being that said i will support you there was no family meeting that said oh young man we are your uncles and aunties we have decided to come together because we discovered that you will need a suit or look i have an uncle in it he will call you it is by faith I was talking to someone i said i came to zaria with one bag one shoe i don't know how many clothes where did everything come from faith not store faith your destiny will only happen by faith that ministry you have been seeing in the dream you will keep seeing it till jesus comes it is faith that will bring it alive everybody say the journey of faith there is no great man in the kingdom who does not have a testimony of triumph to faith you read about the great men and women that god is using around the world and see the impossible situations that surrounded them kenneth e hagen was born with a heart deformity it took faith to cancel it out david yonggi cho his own limitation and imperfection some of these men were born in nations they were they, they were racist nations and everything and faith faith have you not learned that faith is the victory this is the victory that will give you the house the victory that will give you the child the victory that will turn your wilderness even When the Lord was speaking to me you were not there what was the guarantee brothers and sisters everything in life is a risk the only guarantee in life is faith God said it he said it in his word I have found it I know the thoughts that I think towards you Joshua Selman hallelujah they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end Lord you really said this about me yes sir I said this son Lord you said this about me yes sir behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions 
and over all the powers of the enemies here's the revelation and nothing shall by any means he never said nothing shall hurt you nothing shall by there are many means with which things hurt people and god said shall by any means you are that committed to protecting me thank you jesus it was not always rosy but faith keeps you to keep seeing the promised land even if you are inside fire don't let anybody fool you that is from the speakings of god into the promised land no sir the journey is far but once you face you keep your eyes like a flint then i give you a guarantee the dust will rise and settle you will still be standing it is by faith that we rise it is by faith that we reign there are people who came to zaria to school pastor they came to zaria with just a box they they didn't even have admission they just came by faith i would die here today they are lecturers no house there are school of ministry students who have come now some of them came by faith just do you know if you really believe god his integrity will have to come and prove god will not allow your trust in him to be aborted it's too precious listen i'm a man of logic i'm a man of organization but no matter how organized you are in life if you must get to the other side there are times you will get up waiting for a boat you may that boat will come when you are 80 years you will just need to get up and say lord you said i should go to the other side here i come you have to get up and jump in that's why many young men will never build because it takes faith not cement many young men will never rise up and move in life they will never go out of their parents house 40 years they are still there let's take it easy i've applied let me see how jobs will happen in life no sir no sir it's good to be responsible it's good to be as whatever as you can how much money do you have in your accounts to do ministry you really believe you can have enough it takes faith apostle where will the partners come from apostle if i reach lintel level apostle i wanted to buy a house and they say it's 15 million and all that i have right now is 250 naira that somebody even gave me faith is a currency we purchase things with it in the kingdom lord i believe you where are you sending me to oh god i'm sending you to south africa lord i've never gone out of nigeria son the anointing follows my word if i have spoken to you and i give you the go ahead go there are some of you as you are looking at me god is saying how long will you sit down and not arise to let me stand up for your family god has already told you you are the savior of your family what kind of vision are you waiting for lord what is the next instruction i take on that mantle what is the next instruction what is the next instruction you have told me that i will be great you have said i will not be small lord i've been crying about the class of degree i graduated with and you have come to me in your mercy and you have said you will multiply me i will not be small you will glorify me i will not be few lord i engage let my heart be the earth for the seed to be planted and brothers and sisters you will see this wonder working god who has helped some of us and produce glory out of foolish and stupid things whenever you see great results many of you sit down and think kai this people must be lucky what a lucky businessman what a lucky man of god oh papa Ia Deboye, so lucky ah lucky luck I'm a believer the journey of faith some of you this is where you are with God notice you know where you are by the kind of dealings that come God can sit down and you you say Lord I have only 500 naira and God says give everything there's something he's teaching you 
it's not all about parting with 500 naira he's teaching you how a day will come he will flex your spiritual muscles whether there is money or not it doesn't affect you he's weaning you from dependence to physical things i've shared with you my story i'm not saying you should do it you do it at his word i have taken trips with zero naira zero naira and return back to my destination with zero naira because god said it i remember when i was in area bz i would trek because i would believe now whether it was god i had or not i don't know but i'm not ashamed it's a training process i would sit down and trust god for grace that time no atms no nothing no branches branches don't even connect themselves i would believe that god put money for me in the bank and i would trek from bz to first bank i would join a long queue praying in tongues believing that i will withdraw money i would stand there after hours all of a sudden i would now submit it and the person says, sorry are you expecting some money i'll say yes say, well sorry you need to maybe call the people the money is not there and imagine how heartbroken two hours yet i will look and say lord i give you the glory and god will be silent as if he's not hearing me when god is silent it's not ignorance it's training there's something he's doing to you you need to learn this many of you have been taught that god always talks it's not true god talks but he doesn't always talk when he's training you you keep quiet the journey of faith all of a sudden they transfer something to you and god says carry that ten thousand buy the chairs for a church and he said god why are you doing this to me i go to bed in the night and i see the visions of a great destiny i wake up and lord you are humiliating me what is this and god says no i'm teaching you how to trust me i'm teaching you how how will you be great when you don't learn how to trust him how will you be able to give the car and give the house how will you be able to give the word of knowledge among thousands of people when you are afraid when you are still your ego is still on the line how will you be able to stand and say there's somebody in so 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 place you think you can have that courage without training no sir the journey of faith one day god will lead you you are going to have a healing ministry and god will lead you to someone on wheelchair you will know you had god you will lay hands and lay hands and pray and pray and pray and nothing will happen you will call upon god and you will feel like god is bell and at the end of it in shame and embarrassment you will turn to the people and say i'm sorry i i came here full of faith you see that i love god and sometimes you are guilty for the honorarium they give you because nothing happened and you go back and say god why did you do this god will say sit down let's continue continue what god will say you passed the test you still came back to me even in your failure it's a sign you will never leave me even when you fail because if you fail you should look for an alternative but god watches you as you fail and you come back and still bring the shame lord i failed they invited me for the meeting i promised them that there will be an impartation and at the end of that meeting i was so disappointed lord who else will i run in all you're getting get wisdom wisdom is the principal thing through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established join, join apostle, apostle joshua, joshua selman of eternity, eternity network, network international, international as he takes you on a journey, journey into, into the wisdom of god's word it's intimacy it's partnership it's fellowship this is koinonia
bless the name of the Lord. Jesus, we honor you. We bless you. Lift up your hands and let's bless his name everywhere. Lord Jesus, we love you. We honor you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank him for the privilege of access to his wisdom. Thank you, Lord, for access to your wisdom. Thank you for the presence of your spirit. We bless you. We bless you. For you are God alone From before time began You are on your throne You are God alone. One more time say You are God alone From before time began You are on your throne Sing it one more time. You are God alone. From before time began. You are on your throne. For the last time now. You are God alone. From before time began. you are God alone you are worthy of every praise and every adoration that we bring forth to you from this place Lord we pray that you forever remain the priority of our heart I pray oh God tonight that you will open our eyes again you will bless us let your word come with power let there be miracles signs and wonders tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's appreciate the worship team. God bless you. Please greet one another and be seated. Good evening, everybody. Hallelujah. How was your day? I'm excited about what about to teach because I am a believer in the power of the word of God not just in the power of the word but its ability to do what it says it will do are we together all through scripture every time people did not get the required results in searching for what went wrong the word of God was never to be blamed. Are we together? Yes. The word of God has been proven to be consistent. And if we apply our hearts to that word, the Bible declares that there shall be a performance. So I want your heart to be expectant tonight. Don't be careless about this or any other meeting. The presence of God is very special to me. And um, when people trivialize the presence of God, I'm not only sad, I am shocked. Because I have learned by experience the richness of God's presence. Five minutes in his presence can give you something a lifetime will not give you. I know most times people think we just say these things just for the sake of it. But it is true it is true I have learned the valuable lesson of making the presence of God a priority wonderful testimonies great things he's doing but these are not the deeds of a man in his presence there are many things in his presence the grace the empowerment that you need is there too in his presence his wisdom is there you will always find the wisdom of God where his presence is you will not find the wisdom of God in a library you will not find the wisdom of God in 
in some kind of socialist gathering the wisdom of God resides where he is he is the fountain of wisdom and it is in his light that we see light are we together his power is in his presence the very factor that is responsible for God's dimension of results is found in his presence without his presence there is no other agency of fabricating his kind of results you can get some kind of results but not his results in his presence there is a possibility for restoration what a powerful powerful revelation that it doesn't matter what has happened in my life and your life when we come into God's presence all of a sudden a possibility exists that realities can be turned again in our favor in his presence there is deliverance separation from spirits influences and factors that can limit us is called deliverance deliverance is not just separation from spirits alone separation from information is called deliverance wrong information separation from negative factors separation from negative perceptions transformation renewal is also deliverance are we together in his presence your faith is lifted what is your faith your ability to believe god to be convicted about his ability and to act in light of that understanding it is only the presence of god that can guarantee access to faith from morning till this time we've heard enough information to dampen your faith and rubbish everything you know about God you've probably heard reports of people who have died you've probably seen people sick oppressed and all of that and those things have a way of be clouding our presence the psalmist knew the value of the presence of God listen you don't you don't just say you have attended a service just because you came and sat down and you were the witness of a program if nothing entered you you didn't come to church i hope you know that because church is not the place there are certain things that must make a meeting become that place of encounter and one of it is your ability to receive something you never knew or that something be activated in you so please don't just come and sit down just as a, you know that coming to the house of God can be addictive so you can be carried away that because I am addicted I have incorporated coming for koinonia as part of my lifestyle you can convince yourself that regular visitation is equal to transformation no hallelujah I value his presence I have gotten more from his presence than I've gotten from any other place and any other person. Believe me when I tell you this. My foolishness was eroded when I came to his presence. My faith was built when I came to his presence. Something culture could not do for me. No uncle ever gave me anything his presence has given me. No educational institution, no counseling or advice ever gave me what his presence gave me so i will dwell in the presence of the lord and abide under the shadow of his wings. sing i will dwell i will dwell in the presence of the lord Listen, they carried the rod of a man called Aaron. No root. Nothing should grow when it's not connected to the earth. It's a law. But in the presence of God, rules changed overnight. And so fast you took a rod that is lifeless. Growth must always be in connection to the earth. If the earth is not involved, growth should not happen. Yet in the presence of God, a rod overnight bordered you see that possibilities happening in his presence 
that one person can sit down quietly and at the end of this meeting you are carrying a level of grace you cannot even account for how did it come the word of god is coming and then your eyes is opening not just like illumination real visions being opened all of a sudden you are sitting down maybe in any of the overflows or listening and faith enters your spirit and you say this is it i found my key listen let me tell you you must know the word that is spoken and the word you have found they are not the same they are not the same a word can be declared the word can be declared but there is a word that you find your eyes is looking for something lord thank you for all the words that apostle is bringing but there is a sent word i'm searching for it the bible says if you seek her talking about wisdom you don't get you don't get wisdom just by being careless sitting around and hoping it will come you search it like someone looking for something that is missing lord what is the word for the anointing upon my life what is the word what is the word and all of a sudden it may be in one example there it comes your word not a corporate word a rima revealed word to you you will see something no one has seen and you will stand up on the strength of that the bible says man shall not live listen carefully by bread alone physical things man shall not live by certificates alone man shall not live just by human connections alone but you will live by the revealed word that proceeds not just the one you read in the bible there is a word you read from the bible but there is a word that proceeds from the mouth of the lord you can read your bible but it's the one he speaks to you through it he says the lord appeared again to samuel in shiloh by his word an appearance by his word so please don't be careless i can know whether the word of god is working in your life i can know whether all you've been receiving is scriptures or the revealed word let me tell you if it is the revealed word it will rubbish darkness in your life believe me so let's not just come and sit tonight and then hear and let me what new mystery what new dimension no father send something send something let there be a consolation to my christian experience that you are alive don't say it doesn't matter jesus caused the victory for not being fruitful it was taken from the earth and if you take from the resources of the earth something is expected to be produced from it are we together if your life does not bear fruit you will be frustrated in your christian experience i guarantee you don't mind people who say it doesn't matter it does matter if your life does not bear fruit in fact if it does not bear fruit 15 verse 8 of john says herein is our father glorified herein is our father glorified when you bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples you see that what do we find in his presence distribution of graces this is one thing i want you to always be aware of all that happens to you is not what your ears is hearing grace the grace of god is a living thing it's alive it's not oil no there is an unction it can talk it can teach so as the word of god is coming with every point there is a grace not all of it may be applicable for you but let me tell you if you find the grace for you i give you a guarantee that grace will force like a demon spirit forces a human being to manifest its characteristic that anointing will force you to produce results that is consistent with the career of it if the healing anointing comes upon you it has nothing to do with whether you want to heal or not that anointing will alter you until that anointing can flow through you there's something we teach i think in geography or agri um called um tropic movements you see that that certain plants can tilt towards the sun we call it phototropism it doesn't matter the the plant will be forced by a law to find where sun is and grow towards that direction when you put a fence it's called geotropism it will break and push and go down that's what the anointing does 
your own is to pray that the real anointing comes truly let me tell you if the grace for wealth truly comes i know there is a place for intelligence but brothers and sisters the assignment of the anointing is to force your body to allow it produce so i can know what grace is on you by the result it produces a woman is a woman because of many factors among them the ability to conceive a man cannot conceive if you conceive as a man either the holy ghost helped you or you are lying please pay attention distribution of graces i want you to always imagine when we come for koinonia imagine that there is a cloud this is how i want it to be the bible says they were baptized into moses did moses ever carry water and pour on their head as the word is sent there is an unction this is what you must look out for there is an unction this unction you must understand it it is that factor that makes the word work it's not just i got it you write nonsense and get up and your life does not produce There must be proof of your listening it's not just this year alone it's not just this year your life is at the mercy of which grace is working very simple there's no sentiments about it if the required grace is not there no matter what you do in the flesh it will never produce that result listen let me tell you this if i claim that the wisdom of god is working in my life and that that wisdom did not come by that grace the spirit of wisdom no matter how you try everyone will know this is sophia human wisdom when the wisdom of god comes upon an old uneducated woman you will see the lapse in her unrenewedness but you will still see the result happen regardless of the limitation are we together people of god please i want i i beg you let's take our destiny serious and not just daily dull and play games and waste our time and be frustrated and say lord why is this thing not entering me listen let me tell you this paul called himself a wise master builder you see when you are listening to a man you have perceived the hand of god upon his life listen with an open heart don't come to change the equation when you've not gotten any result it's pride when i listen to people who have results i don't listen to alter the equation don't trivialize results it's more than you see there are dynamics happening it's not just about what you hear there is a grace many of us forget the grace dimension so we just focus on the information and at the end of it you are enlightened but not empowered you need both it takes enlightenment and empowerment not just enlightenment alone enlightenment prepares your mind to cooperate with the anointing but it is empowerment that is the factor for the results cunningly devise fables enlighten but they don't empower anointings and impartations alone empower but their operation is limited because your mind has not been been transited through transformation to align well to get the best of the anointing it is always a cooperation of light and that empowerment please pray one minute and say lord change my life today show me something change my life outside pray everywhere pray there has to be a way there has to be a way around my spiritual growth lord there has to be a way i admit i may not know the way now but there has to be a way the bible says there is a path which no fowl has seen the whelps of the lion has not gotten there if it is not working for you it doesn't mean it does not work or it cannot work please pray 
show me something oh god tonight that will be worth my sacrifice here open my eyes to a reality tonight that will be worth the commitment the investment hallelujah praise the lord please sit down let me just tell you a little story before i start teaching something very interesting happened today usually these things happen and they've happened for a few messages what i have no business sharing what i'm supposed to be sharing today i prepared something it's been in my heart and i've been waiting for god to allow me share it but i just decided to take out some time to lie down and rest i wasn't even sleeping i just put my head and i was facing my pillow and i just saw the theme like you write on a pillow that's it that's how i just saw it and i said wow this was around what time afternoon i just had to get up settle down plan to look at it and this was what i saw the lifter of men that's the statement that i saw i just laid down quietly and the hand of the lord came when his presence comes you will know tonight's message i i i believe that there is an unusual a strange grace that will come when i saw it please help them ah, my God. the lifter of men yes he is there is a name he is called the lifter of men let's pray in tongues for a few minutes Please make sure you are praying. Don't worry about what is happening to your neighbor. Balabaka prakato salabaria da balada balada bala. Man, a drop. A day that rises up against me. Many are they which say, Where is your help? We pray. You are the shield from me. My glory, you lift my head. For I thou, O Lord, I shield for me. My glory, you're the lifter up of my head. sit down if you can be sensitive to the impartations that happen it's been my personal cry to God that every time I teach the grace component this is this is the secret this is the secret of results 
when the anointing behind the word backs up the word and enters you it must produce what the word says it's possible for the word to come without the anointing but when both of them come believe me it must produce the lifter of men let's discuss please sit down <laughs> I believe that the Lord wants to unveil to us tonight the spiritual pathway to greatness there is a pathway to greatness undeniable please help those under the anointing undeniable ah, I'm telling you I sense a strong anointing very strong anointing very strong impartation I just pray that we'll be able to teach that grace is what will make you return with a testimony yes when the anointing comes on you don't just think maybe it's coming okay I'm anointed no when the anointing comes on you you should rejoice because you should know that with that grace then a testimony is guaranteed that's how God answers prayers by supplying the grace the anointing the anointing the anointing does not make the difference it is the difference hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. that a man can be weak and small today but something can happen to that man and turn his seed into an oak tree that someone can be small brothers and sisters please hear me whether in ministry whether in business that something can happen to joshua selman can happen to anybody right where you are not you don't he has nothing to do with geography that a system of the kingdom look at the mystery of a seed you pick a little seed even a mustard seed plant it in the earth expose it to a system and all of a sudden regardless of gravity regardless of whatever that seed sprouts who says you must remain at this level forever in the kingdom growth is a possibility in the kingdom men can start small but it's a cost to end small in the kingdom spiritually you can start small in the anointing you can start small in prophecy in visions you can start small but that you must accent a dimension in the spirit where you are weighty the word is weight weight capacity capacity you can start small financially but god can give you weight weight in this kingdom you can start small ministerially you can start small in the gift of the spirit the issue is not the smallness no matter how big or small a seed is a seed is a seed because it will still die but if that seed does die then it will now begin to reveal the potentials there please sit down help us holy spirit help us help us help us help us i love the way i love the way god helps us in this ministry i'm an organized person but not at the expense of the wisdom of the spirit when his wisdom comes that's it regardless of what it is and let me tell you you've heard me say there are not many sermons that god shows me like that and you follow every sermon that i tell you god revealed certain things to me you see the impact on those who believe it and receive it the lifter of men please sit down i believe it's one of the signs and wonders that the lord wants to do in this season to just lift men like that and use their lifting to prove to principalities and powers that i am still god that you have concluded about a sister and a brother a family based on whatever parameters let me tell you something with god when god wants to lift men he doesn't discuss it with anybody this is god 
God can lift somebody who was a drunkard yesterday regardless of what you think I thank God because he does not consult my enemies to lift me if God had to consult the wicked to lift me they would say because of my father's mistake I will not rise if God were to consult me maybe my tribe will be a disadvantage someone will come and say no this guy is from the north he should not be doing ministry at a global level maybe someone would have come to use all kinds of parameters but God the lifter of men he said Jacob have I loved Esau have I hated it's as simple as that I am the God of the universe I can lift whomsoever I choose that's what God has chosen to do with this ministry that's what God has chosen to do with my life God can choose to lift men at my level as a human being I can choose to lift men in whatever capacity I can someone can sit down and say I choose to give you admission it's within his power another person can stand up and say I choose to pay your rent I choose to give you a lift men and God can say I choose to lift you I choose to open your ministry to a horizon you have never seen I choose to wipe the tears of your family in one week I say no Lord my plan was for one year and God says this is God talking it is one week I have chosen please sit down let's see how God will help us tonight the waters have been stirred the waters have been stirred God does these things that men will fear him. Lifting in the kingdom is a mystery and a system. It can be studied. Every single person in the kingdom, please sit down if you can. Every single person in the kingdom desires growth, desires greatness. Greatness is not a carnal word. Are we together now greatness is not a demonic word greatness is not a word for unbelieving people greatness is a kingdom language are we together now it's a system where god enlarges you in influence and capacity where he makes you a voice so that you can legislate on his behalf greatness is god's desire god is an enlarger he can expand the coast of men he did it for jabez he did it for the nation of israel he can expand people the very system of the growth of a plant as a plant grows it doesn't remain at the same length or breadth it expands so with growth should come greatness with growth should come increase i'm going to do my discussion tonight in threefold and i'll be very fast wherever we stop tonight we will just pray and then we can continue next week I decided to break it into three dimensions listen very carefully the lifter of men I want to share with you the kingdom system of lifting many of you by this teaching I believe you will find in this roadmap this compass where you are for many of you tonight's teaching will minister hope for many of you tonight's teaching will supply the staying power to continue for many of you tonight's teaching will lead to repentance a realignment because you find out that the path you are taking is not going to lead you there for many of us what you need in tonight's teaching is the grace to continue and for many of us what you need to learn tonight is thanksgiving because you will find out that your prayers have already been answered are we together the first dimension we are going to look at in the lifting of men is what I call the journey of faith write it down and let's discuss the journey of faith there is a system with which God lifts men in the kingdom in as much as he lifts men instantaneously the pathway that pathway to greatness there is a spiritual science there is a technology it can be learned are we together Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 let's start off with it tonight the Bible says for without faith listen carefully for without faith it is impossible to please him for he listen carefully he that cometh to God 
must not may it's not a choice must believe two things one that he exists the journey to greatness starts with the journey of faith coming to a point of persuasion about the reality of god the bible says that in that journey of faith the first encounter you need is an encounter that furnishes the reality of the god you are dealing with listen carefully one of the things that the body of christ must learn when believers get born again get filled with the holy spirit they need to be taught how to live by faith please write it down this kingdom operates by faith this kingdom operates by faith everything in this kingdom is faith dependent you cannot do business with god when you are still in doubt of the reality of his person not his power that he exists i'm showing you the the way god guides people the holy spirit the journey of faith encapsulates everything the systems that the holy spirit brings you into so that you can have encounters and conviction you don't become no great man is in doubt of what his his persuasions that is something you must settle before you get to certain dimensions because the challenges that are before you will require strong conviction about the person of god are we together the bible says whosoever comes to god must believe that he is you will think it's a simple statement until challenges stand before you and you will find out that for the first time you are joining the mindset of an atheist to doubt is god really alive there is there is there are certain giants that you face on the mountain brothers and sisters if you have not settled the reality of god you will doubt ask john the baptist you will think just because john the baptist ordained jesus the reality of his godhead the reality of his person had been furnished in john when john was frustrated to a point where his human weakness was at his prime john sent somebody he said go and ask him are you the messiah how about john you ordained me into ministry john said with what is happening now no if you were god you are too mighty to leave me in the prison go and ask him oh i'm no longer sure jesus had to tell the disciples when things started going bad he said who do men say that i am and he said who do you say you would think that that was an easy question nobody could answer don't assume you know god because your knowledge of god is what will strengthen you is what will make you stand and say i'm not going back that mountain i was climbing many believers in church think knowing god is singing christian songs they think knowing god is praying in tongues just because you are saying bah, 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 you are just praying say i know god or knowing god is an election i am elder this i am pastor this i am apostle this do you know god of course i do let me ask you that same question do you know god <laughs> you will be surprised that you are shocked now you may not honestly be able to answer that question do you know god do you know god the bible says whoever must come must believe that he exists there's something called april fool you know what april fool is april fool is an attempt to play games with your mind is that true sometimes can be expensive so they can tell you something like pastor alpha an alert has just come for you whereas it's not true that's how many people think god is and situations and circumstances can push you to a point where you believe god has calmed you read the frustrations of david in the book of psalms many times david would talk as though he was not born again many believers would have about david david no brothers and sisters if we are honest the pressures of life can change your perception in a way that even you you have to ask god for forgiveness are we together 
ask a woman who has been barren for 22 years no child ask a woman who has been serving in the house of god for 22 years no child ask her is there god and you see her cry and say don't ever ask me that question again she's serving god but she does not want to confront it because confronting it will bring anger where is that god for 22 years where was he when i was fasting where was he when i was praying don't be too quick to assume you know god i'm not saying have you received zoe i'm not in doubt of that the encounter that gives men stamina unto death are we together when they caught jesus the disciples believed that jesus will do all that he is known for again and jesus gave himself freely they ran away why did they run away they didn't run away just because they ran away because they felt cheated you can know it because they ran back to their fishing what a stupid man you've wasted our time you proposed to us that we we're going to be mighty men my mother even liars sitting at my right and left and now look the nonsense you have made out of my life i go a fishing and the other disciples say we go with you and suddenly jesus appears little children have you any catch and they were looking who is that and when they discerned it was the master the bible says peter washed himself and ran and came and jesus looked at him simon bajona lovest me thou more than this lovest thou me more than this and he said well lord i do feed my lamb he began to talk with him and you would think after that one jesus said, okay guys thank you the bible says in acts chapter one for 40 days jesus remained with the people and was teaching them on the matters of the kingdom and afterwards he left and the holy ghost came brothers and sisters do you know miracles don't make you know god they can help your faith many people saw lazarus raised from the dead but it did not make them know god the presence of miracles are not enough the only entity that is capable of helping men know god is the holy ghost there is no amount of education and bible study that can help you know god no the knowledge of god is a reality that only the holy ghost is able to help men the lifter of men follow me carefully so the, the starting point of a believer's journey to a realm of greatness brothers and sisters hear me carefully is the journey of faith coming to a point where you are persuaded beyond beyond manipulation that god is alive you have come to a point where your results are too small to prove or declare otherwise the reality of god you have come to a point where even when you are drinking gary no sugar you don't just say god where are you you don't know him are we together there is an encounter i've taught you what an encounter is an encounter is a supernatural experience that makes the a reality real to you it furnishes the reality of a person or a thing to you i have touched this gentleman i have felt his arms i can't deny if you say oh you touched a bag of rice you are not going to tell me i touched a bag of rice because i've touched rice too i've touched a human being this is not rice this is a human being so no matter how you try to manipulate me there is a level of certainty everyone say the journey of faith <laughs> the bible declares in romans chapter 1 verse 17 galatians 3 11 hebrews 10 38 that the just shall live by faith not the just shall get by faith the just the template for the life of the just in this kingdom is faith everybody say faith your persuasion your persuasion about who god is not what he can do bible faith starts from a revelation of who god is it is only when you know who he is that you can believe what he can do 
many of us jump the encounter of who god is and we just go straight to what he can do must believe that he is and then when you are done believing that he is then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek it no seek power now that you know he exists when you seek him passionately there is a reward for it the just brothers and sisters shall live by faith are we together now and you see the system of faith is such that except there is a word there cannot be faith even if you encounter a person it only produces conviction there cannot be faith because faith is an action word an action only happens when a word has come either to instruct you or give you something to do john i mean matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 says man shall not live by bread alone this is jesus speaking responding to satan but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of the god you have encountered man shall not live by bread alone but by every rima the revealed word that proceeds in this kingdom we live by the word of god we live by the speakings of god not just scripture not just verses not just chapters we don't live by verses we don't live by chapters we live by the speakings of the word the chapters and the verses are only containers they are not the word they carry the word the breath of the spirit opening those chapters and verses you see listen the message behind a chapter is the word of god not the story the message you may have been reading scripture but the message in the scripture is where the word of god is because that's where your instructions are hinged upon are we together now the journey of faith many people never become great in this life because their cultural experiences are greater than the revelation of who god is did you know that every time satan wants to destroy you wants to limit your mind he uses the information that is already in your mind he doesn't bring an information outside there is a reality in your mind so he calls you and he says i hope you are aware that you are from this state and you say i remember the information i've gathered about that state is that people don't prosper and satan says that's exactly what i'm saying and it is that raw material he begins to push you are you aware that you read hausa or you read french and are you aware that in nigeria if you study some of these things you may not have an opportunity for a good job you say yes I'm aware satan uses the content of your environmental conditioning as the platform to limit you from believing god listen brothers and sisters please hear me especially if you are in ministry or going or going into ministry spend as much time as you can having encounters with god you will drink from that fountain for life if that fountain dead dries before you get to the promised land you may not arrive there are things today that will never shake me because there is a solid encounter about who God is listen if you don't know who God is you will never stand well because all kinds of things will come to derail you you know how many pieces of papers people have passed to my life in the name of prophecy you know how many kinds of things you know how many dreams and visions people send to my phone apostle i saw something god is going to destroy you next week you don't know god you will die like a chicken because of the conviction of a man someone just gets up and looks at you and says god is going to destroy your family we found out that your grandfather was a wizard and they, and you now go back and believe is because you don't know who god is when you really know who god is you will learn in your knowledge of god that the lord is gracious and compassionate he is slow to anger and rich in love the knowledge of god is what strengthens your conviction about operating in the kingdom david knew god what a man david knew god 
God gave him an option. Should I give you over to your enemies or to you? David said, no, 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 no. God, at least me and you, these men, they are wicked, but you are compassionate. What has your not knowing God cost you in life? Impatience. Not knowing God and not knowing how he operates has destroyed a lot of people. They call light darkness and they call darkness light. He that cometh unto God must believe. The first thing the Lord began to do in my life, brothers and sisters, is not to give me anointing. It's not to give money. It is always the journey of faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. Lord, how will this destiny be built? By faith. Lord, I'm an orphan my father is dead my mother is dead and god says you must learn how we operate in this kingdom it is by faith what does that mean by my word if i speak to you notice that my power follows my word so if i speak to you you must learn to trace the direction of my power by looking for where my word is anywhere my word is not stop looking for my power there if you find power there is divination my power follows my word if i say i will lift you then you stay at that area of the world that's where the anointing will meet you the anointing follows what god said the anointing has no business doing anything god has not said you can know where the anointing is by finding out what has God said. If God said, I will exalt you, don't look for the anointing for any other thing. The anointing for exaltation will remain until that word comes to pass. Then returns back to God as a messenger. Job done. Then he will say something again. Then the anointing will start looking for it. The anointing does not just move at random. The anointing backs up the word. So the issue is not where is the anointing. The issue is what has God said. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many believers, let me tell you why we don't get miracles. We roam around, around areas and zones where God has not said anything. And we keep crying for anointing to come. And the Holy Ghost tells you this kingdom is a faith kingdom. You don't just cry for anointing to come. You cry for his word. Send your word, oh God. And the anointing follows that word. You want to build a ministry. What did God say? Nothing. So you just carve out a ministry. Lord, you must anoint this ministry. The anointing said, no way, I don't work that way. I walk, I respect the word spoken. Notice, Satan does not fight anointing. He fights the word. Because he knows that the word has, the word like, like when President Buhari comes to Zaria, you don't need to bring El Rufai. El Rufai will necessarily be part of that entourage. That's how it works. Many believers don't pay attention to find out what God is saying. We pay attention reading the Bible. We pay attention reading devotionals, which is good. But to be able to understand what God is saying, notice that the secrets of the success of people, they didn't walk by faith just by reading the Bible at random. They walk by faith by staying to hear. We are going to fight. Oh God, what is your, what, what is your word? And God says, I will give you victory. They say, guys, let's rejoice. Victory would be guaranteed. If you don't live by faith you will end where your parents ended it takes faith to transit you let me tell you waiting for somebody to give you a guarantee of job after school is foolishness it will never happen everybody you see that has risen to any point of greatness in the kingdom did so by faith the reason why many of us don't get results is that our faith is not in God our faith is in men auxiliary support systems my uncle is a senator in Ibadan my uncle is a senator in Uyo I my uncle is coming out for presidency next year and so when you say those things and pride in them and say no I can't fail and the Bible says woe to any man who puts his strength in a man the greatest of any man can fail you so God begins to teach you son I want you to be great that's the promised land but this journey is going to be by faith and he said Lord at the point of this journey i just have one gideon's international one bible no revelation no wisdom god says don't worry all i need you to do 
follow where my word is and you will get there follow my word follow my word follow my word so when you open the bible all you do is to just read oh i will bless you mm. when you read it read it like the will of a man to you many people read the bible like god speaking to the disciples i have a personalized bible it was a gift that was sent to me years ago everywhere they wrote the name of anybody for good they changed it to joshua selman the whole bible i don't use it now but it's a powerful revelation so thus saith the lord too you see it written there joshua selman fear not i have redeemed you and he's speaking to me now i have called you by name fear not fear not that means the anointing for courage is somewhere because god has spoken to me are you seeing now you can know what anointing is there don't you see how the anointing moves in koinonia when the word comes the grace for it is what comes god healed blind Bartimaeus. he did not become a rich man his cry his demand was to be healed god spoke to him in the area of healing the anointing that came was for healing blind Bartimaeus never prospered just because god spoke healing no. it is the word that comes to you that controls the anointing that follows you god called benihin into the healing ministry there are many auxiliary graces but the strongest grace that operates is the grace that came with that word for as long as that word remains on him that grace remains on him are we together yes pastor if i come to your house and you ask your wife to go and bring minerals for me you gave a word the performance will be in the area of where minerals your wife will not go and carry your shoe you can still give me your shoe but you chose to give me minerals because that's what you saw that will minister to me more and you say wife go and bring mineral she will go to the kitchen or wherever they keep the minerals and carry it and bring it the performance was in the direction of the word you see please sit down sir you see that we neglect the word of god yet we want performance many believers including those who study the bible don't take the word of god seriously let me tell you if god has spoken to you and you know he spoke to you die there this is faith these careless things people do around one leg here two weeks later you will never rise like that but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded god you told me i may be the last born in my family but you have assured me that in my father's lifetime they will glorify god i believe you i take you i believe that word your reception of the word the anointing begins to come because you have believed the bible says who has believed our report it is to that person the arm of the lord the arm of the lord is his right hand of power it is who believe the report that sees the right hand not who wants to see the right hand brothers and sisters in this kingdom there is no advantage to your life until the word of god comes to you hear it the word of god is your advantage in life whether the word revealed through illumination from scripture or spoken to your spirit by the holy ghost Put together a miracle service at the end of every month lord this is your word yes sir and that journey of faith god guarantees that every time the anointing to make sure that word comes from him see when you train yourself don't you know that is risky sometimes you hear me talking about people oh there's somebody here the anointing you think i'm just guessing you try it and see whether it happens there is you train yourself you don't say lord let the anointing go there you already know that once the word of god comes the requisite grace will follow it come on now come on now 
so god comes to a family brothers and sisters where nobody becomes anything and god now speaks a word to that family he sends that word to jacob and intends that that word lights upon israel and god comes to you and says, mary you are a young woman a young virgin but i want to speak to you you will carry that holy thing and mary said really be it unto me and the anointing that will force her womb seed or no seed to take the seed of the word of god the incorruptible seed that abides forever and jesus came hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.